out of turn four. Here he comes. Right, buddy, here's your white. One Half a mile to go. It's been 939 days since a Dodge has tasted victory in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. And today, it looks like they may go one, two. Hold on. Final corner. Through the turn. Justin is going to do it. He gets his first Nationwide Series win. Here comes Kurt Busch, the white flag. One to go. Menard flag rushed right the wall. Here, one more. Coming off turn four. Well, it doesn't matter what happens now. We've had our one attempt. Now we've got Kevin Harvick and Scott Wimmer side by side. No longer Harvick will take the position. That was a battle for eighth right there. Biffle gaining. He's really got to send it into turn three. He's a car length and a half back. Not going to get there. Nope. Boy, Casey Mears is the one that drove it in there. And uh, to no avail, though. Kurt Busch wins the O'Reilly 300. Just one more solid lap here. Here we go. White flag is out. Just one mile remaining here on this new configuration for Sam Hornish Jr. to pick up his first win in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Roger Penske on the left, looking on. Through the dogleg for the final time and into three. Oh, he's just been so solid. They took those two tires and on the restart he was able to jump out there, get the lead and wasn't going to be denied at this victory. Here he comes out of turn number four. His first Nationwide Series win and a 1-2 finish for Team Penske. And the white flag is up. We're on the final lap. Ryan Newman. 23-year-old out of South Bend, Indiana. In his ninth start in the NASCAR Bush Series. He led 84 laps in his last Bush Series race in Chicago. He finished 26 after the late race crash we showed you. Here today in Michigan, he's going to get it done. Newman dominates and wins the Napa 250. Good job, everybody. It's awesome. Good job. Another first-time winner in the Nationwide Series at Kentucky. It's Ryan Blaney. Got one more lap to finish I'm it sorry, up, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. White flag, nope. white flag. But you know what? He's got a big enough lead that he's going to be fine. And I have been so impressed with the job he's done. And there were plenty of opportunities to fold on all these restarts. He was tested by Sam Hornish. He was tested by Austin Dillon. And in the end, he answers the bell. And he's going to get his first cup, uh, career Nationwide Series win. He absolutely is. Here he comes. First time winner, fifth time here at Kentucky that we've seen it happen. Does it in style over Austin Dillon. Matt Crafton, Sam Hornish Jr., and a great run for Alex Bowman in fifth. When a late caution came out, pitch strategies were played by Kyle's team and Casey Kane's team that put them back 10th and 11th for a restart. A restart that came with 34 laps to go. They have not gotten the caution they needed to change the outcome. And now Joey Logano is a half a lap from scoring a third straight win at Dover. Pretty impressive. You know, I mean, this is a tough, tough racetrack. If you come here and win three times, you earn your money. Never been done before in the Nationwide Series. Done now by Joey Logano. He makes it three straight at the Monster Mile, winning by five-tenths of a second over Brian Vickers. He moves to the inside. The white flag is out. Side by side. Cedric out in front again. Austin Cedric looking for his first ever win in the Xfinity Series. One lap to go presented by Credit One Bank. They dive deep into turn number one. Cedric slides into 10 wide. Digger goes wider. Here they come now into turn two. Into the S's for the final time in Watkins Glen. Cedric trying to hang on to the race car. But A.J. Allman Digger is there. He is on the back bumper. This is the battle for the win. Digger wants the inside and Cedric will not let him have it. Amazing run through the S's for Allman Digger. But Cedric pulling away toward the braking zone. AJ is not close enough to be able to do anything here in the inner loop. Through the inner loop, Cedric looks in the mirror, hoping to see some a gap between him and Al Almendinger to be able to get comfortable through this carousel. No mistakes for the 22 through the carousel on corner exit, driving away, extending that lead. Austin Cedric now has a big enough gap on Almendinger. He can just be cool, be smart. You do not have to overdrive turn six to stay far enough away from him. John Dunn now set up turn seven, comes in a checker. Brian Wilson, the crew chief, made the call, brought him to pit road for pressure tires. The 20-year-old makes the final turn. He comes in front of the grandstands. He'll get his first Xfinity Series win. Austin Cedric does it at the Glen. White flag, white flag, here we go. 
Harvick in front. Can he make NASCAR history and win both ends of a nationwide Sprint Cup doubleheader in one day? Cops He's going to have to fight them all from both sides right here. He's got cars coming each way. Here comes way. McMurray with a head of steam. McMurray, oh, look out, a little contact with a 32. McMurray says, hey, I was in front the last time. You took it away from me earlier today. He's going to try and take it away oh, from you. Oh, he's hung in the middle. Here he comes Keselowski. got trouble now. Keselowski's got like oh, on the hard side. Look out. They're going to go it around. McMurray. Uh, oh, no, oh, behind oh, him. Behind oh him. big up, crash. No. Oh, and up into the wall. Look out. The caution is out. The race will finish. And it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to get the race win. Bring it here. Bring it here. 